Okay, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the previous videos by checking the playlist in the description of this video. I hope that you're enjoying these videos so far. And today, uh, well, let's quickly just review by looking at the game we've created so far. Uh, we have this simple little game with two individual players, which now have different values for their velocity, their speed on the x-axis, and how high they can jump. So the guy on the right is a little faster than the guy on the left, but the guy on the left can jump higher than the guy on the right. They also collide with not only the bricks, the world, but each other, and <clears throat> they can only jump when they're touching the ground. What's a game without sounds? Adding some simple sounds and music to your game can make it... Like right now this is very bleh, but just adding some music and some, um, some sounds to it can help liven it up some. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to preload that data as well. So let's go ahead and go into our preload function here <clears throat> and use game.load. But this time, instead of image, we're going to say audio. Now, just like before, we're going to give it one parameter here. The first one will be how we're going to call this in the future. I uh, will just call it jump because this will be the sound that we jump in. It's just a sound effect that I got off some free sound effect website. Next, you're going to give it an array. So inside, parent, or inside um, brackets, we are going to give it the file name, or file names is actually a better option. Now, uh, you have a few options here, but it's important to see, to remember that different browsers support different types of audio and video. So this is important. It's not a big deal. Use FFmpeg or uh, Audacity or something to convert the files so that you have at least an mp3 and an aug file. Um, if you have those two you pretty much cover all major browsers. Problem is mp3s are a proprietary format so certain browsers that are open source and truly free browsers uh, may not support mp3 because they have to legally pay for a license to do so. Um, but then there are ones that are proprietary browsers that uh, don't support AUG just because they choose not to, but pretty much every browser supports one or the other. Uh, so make a copy of the music in the two formats, and in this case it's in the resource file. I labeled one jump.mp3 and the other one resource uh, jump, jump.aug. Now, Phaser will look at those two uh, options in the array and choose the appropriate one for the browser. So you're set. Uh, should be pretty much any browser, mobile or desktop, as long as it's a made in the last couple of years, should be able to play one of those two files. So here we have preloaded it, but now we need to add that sound into our game. So let's go ahead and go down to where our player jumps, which is under our player update. And here we have our jump controls. So if these are true, it will jump. The player will jump. And so let's go ahead in here. And we're going to say to music dot, or sorry, music. We need to, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to go over music in a minute. We're going to do var snd equals game dot add dot audio. And we will add in here what we just labeled as jump. Remember, it's not the file name, but how we label that file. And then we can say sound.play. And there's options you can put in there that we'll go over momentarily. But for now, let's just do that. And we should be good to come in here and refresh. Here are our players. I can move them around, and when they jump, So hopefully you can hear that through the mic. We get a jump sound. Now, that works. Probably could load this sound here when we create the player and, um, and then play it so we're not reloading each time, we're just playing it. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna play around with that without testing it before uh, the tutorial. So that works. Again, may not be the 100% most efficient way, but it works. Okay, so now we have jumping sounds. Whoop-de-doo. 
Well, let's move on to music, which is going to be very similar, but we need to think about a few things here. First of all, we need to pick some music. So <clears throat> I went over to uh, Multi 8 Bit on um, YouTube. This is a gentleman named Simon uh, Wessel, I believe is how you say his name. He's a gentleman I've talked to online a couple of times. He hasn't done any videos in a while, but he's put out a lot of good music on his YouTube channel, as well as some tutorials on using Milky Tracker, and I believe also some tutorials on LMS. And his music is all under Creative Commons, non-commercial, uh, share-alike, and attribution. So I'm giving attribution here. And um, now the non-commercial part is something to take into account. Non-commercial, you know, there's some gray area there when you're talking about non-commercial. For example, this music's going to be in my video here, and uh, also in this game I'm creating, and I do make money off of YouTube ads and support, so does that make it commercial? I would say, yeah, it does, but luckily I've talked to Simon in the past, and he's given me permission to use his music in my projects. So when you do choose music and sound and images, make sure that you're choosing ones that you have the rights to use if, you know, you want to stake a claim to your game. Um, so anyway, I've downloaded the song, The Caves of Brain, and he's got many other songs up there, so go ahead and definitely check him out. And I've actually converted this into three different files, and I'll explain why. Let me go ahead and look in here, and I'll move into my resource folder here, and I'm going to list out all my music files. So I got three files labeled music. I got music mp3, music og, and music wave. Okay. As I said before, if you just do MP3 and OG, you should be pretty set. And most browsers don't state that they support WAVE, but many of them do. But why would I use WAVE? They're much larger files. In fact, just to get this one down to double the size of the MP3 and the OG file, uh, which I could compress them more as well, um, I had to compress the WAVE file quite a bit. Quality is still pretty good, but I also had to convert it to mono because with the stereo tracks, this was over eight megabytes. So why would I care about putting a wave in there if MP3 and AUG um, cover everything? And the answer is simple. <clears throat> MP3 and AUGs take much longer to decode. With a short little file like the jump sound, it's not a big deal. But with a music song uh, that's two or three minutes long, it could take, well, it takes my desktop computer a few seconds to decode both MP3 and AUG, um, but a cell phone, it could take five to 10 seconds for it to decode the music, to, 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 well, to decode it so it can be played. Now, that same phone can definitely download, and especially if you've already cached, the music file much faster than it takes to decode it. It only takes a few seconds to download this, where it takes a f much longer to decode these. So I put all three options in there. And if the browser can use a WAV file, it's going to load the song a lot faster. Otherwise, your game's going to start going and the music won't start for a little bit later. Now, there's another way around this. You can avoid the WAV thing and use just, just AUG or MP3, and there is a way to check to see and wait until the audio has. Uh, decompressed before starting your game. So it adds a little bit load time to your game, but the music starts appropriately. So yeah, so basically you have three options. Put the WAV file in there, which is going to increase your download time, which is minimal. Start your game with either an MP3 or AUG, and the music might be a little delayed to start. Or use an MP3 or AUG and have your game delayed until the music's ready. I'm just going to go and use the WAV file. So Let's go ahead and go back into our JavaScript file here. I gotta go back into the correct folder. <clears throat> and going back up to our preload. So, so preloading and decoding are two different things. The file will still preload, but it's not necessarily decoded until you go to play it. So here, I'm gonna create another audio file or another audio element called music. It's in the same folder. It's called music, music, and of course, I'm going to put another option in here called under resources folder music.wave. And we'll save that F12 or F11. Sorry, I'm talking to myself when I say F11. That's just to get out of full screen mode for that. F5 here. Oh, that's right. We preloaded it, but we haven't played it yet. 
Let's go ahead and do that. F11 here, and I'm gonna come down here to our create. I'll even put it up top here so that it gets going right away even though all this is gonna run in no time. So we're gonna say music, so we're creating an element called music, and we're gonna use game.add.audio, and we called it up top music, and then here we're gonna say music dot play just like we played the sound but as I said you can pass other options uh, to the play function and what I'm going to do here and now this is going to be a bad part of the tutorial because I should have looked up this this is what I always use for music um, but I can't remember what all these options are <laughs> All I know is that this sets it, one of these I believe is volume, I think it's this one, one I think is full volume, and I think true is that we're looping it, so the music will continuously loop. And that's another thing you can do, you can use shorter music files that loop. Um, I don't remember what these first two options are though, and I apologize for that, I should have been a little more prepared for the tutorial, I'm kind of winging some of these. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and save this, and now we'll refresh our game. And the music starts up pretty much right away. Again, I'm on a desktop, so it'd be faster than a mobile, but using the WAV file, even on a mobile device, it loads fairly quick. Um, and that's it. So we looked over adding our jump sounds and our music, which will loop continuously. Um, and that's it for this tutorial. I thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you want to become a supporter, be sure to go over to my Patreon page. That's patreon.com um, forward slash metalx1000. You can get early release videos there. You also get to vote on videos and other good stuff like that. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. There's a link to that in the description as well. Basically, check out the description of the video for everything. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.